Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honors as always to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us all this truth. Shalom to the Achim and his truth and sincerity. And I'm going to do a lesson going into that eternal weight of glory. All right. You know, that eternal way to glory, which is the kingdom of heaven. All right. In which we're literally going to get everything that we ever desired in righteousness, in righteousness, everything on this side, you know, in this wicked, evil world that we're in, you know, that we ever desire to have in righteousness, you know, which we which we couldn't have on this side. We're going to get that and more in the kingdom of heaven It's going to far exceed. So this is 2 Corinthians 4, and I'll start at 16. It says, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. You know, because this, this outward man is perishing. As I mentioned, we're, we're in this evil, wicked world, and we desire to do righteousness, but we're stuck in this evil, wicked world, all right, and we're in this sinful flesh. So that weighs down on you, man. The fact that we're in a weak body that, that like I said, it's sinful. Not only is it extremely weak and feeble, it's, it's sinful. But our spirit is desiring to do righteousness. You know, but it can't really perform, perform uh, righteousness how we want to. We want to be 100% perfect, just like our Lord. You know, well, first and foremost, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. We want to be perfect just like Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is perfect. But we can't and this, this flesh. So that weighs down on you, man. That's why our outward man is perishing. You know, and like I said, we're, we're stuck in this world. You know, we're stuck in this body, these chains of darkness. And that makes you, you know, figuratively, that, that, that like makes us perish, man. It's like, damn. We can't. We can't really live here, man. We we can't live, man. We we can't just be and exist in righteousness here. You know, we're just existing here. That's all we're doing. We're just existing. We're not even living, man. But even though our outward man perished, our inward man, which is the the spirit within us, through the Holy Spirit, is renewed day by day. Okay, through this word, through the Comforter, through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Which Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai bestowed on us. And that's why we don't faint. Alright, so it says, and this is the point, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Alright, so I'm a you know, I'm gonna break that, that whole verse down. You know, our light affliction is what we're going through right now. You know, like I said, being in this, this evil, wicked, vile, filthy world of which we long to, to be saved from this world daily, man. Our spirit is, is longing to, to, to just be freed from this, this evil world, man. You know, this world that, that, that constantly disrespects our, our, our power, our God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, this world constantly disrespects our god man okay this world doesn't even acknowledge his law statutes and commandments which he created for all mankind to live on the planet earth you know beginning with the israelites of course but really even the heathens are supposed to keep the law statutes and commandments and that's why yahweh bashim yahweh shah is going to give us new bodies so that in the kingdom we'll be able to enforce his law statutes and commandments and we're going to be able to, to force the heathens, you know, to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Even the wicked, you know, the Edomites, which are you so-called self-proclaimed white race. You know, you so-called white people. We're even going to force you devils. And it's, it's against your nature to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. But we're going to even force you devils to keep them. But we're living in a world that, that completely disregards the Holy Bible, man. The law. All right, the, the completely, you know, uh, uh, metaphorically speaking, the spits 
spits on the Bible. You know, this world looks at the Bible like it's nothing. You know, they scoff at the Bible. When they see us out there teaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, they scoff at that. You know, but that's that's okay though. That's just a light affliction. That's the first part. It says, which is but for a moment. So this what we're going through now, that's just a brief moment, man. Alright, this isn't gonna last forever. The Lord didn't intend for this this wicked, evil world to just continue on. You know. The Lord the Lord would be unrighteous if he just let this place go on. All right, but if you had a a, a idiotic uh, Christian explain the Bible to you, they'll have you believe that America is just going to keep going on. The Lord will be the Lord wouldn't be a righteous God if He just allowed America to keep going on. All right, like brother say, man, if if He allowed America to to, to go unpunished and He allowed you damn devils, you Edomites and you other nations to go unpunished, He owes Sodom and Gomorrah an apology. All right, the 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 Heavenly Father, he owes the whole planet Earth an apology when he flooded it. <laughs> but if you had these idiotic uh, Christians break it down to you, they'll have you believe this place is just going to keep going. All right? All right, they'll have you believe that, that for you to get to heaven, you, you just got to die. All right? You got to die to get to heaven. And then the, this wicked world is just going to continue going on. But all the, the believers, are, they're going to die and go into heaven. That's not how it's going to work. Yeah, how was Shai said in Matthew, the sixth chapter... You know, the Lord's prayer, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So just like there's complete order and righteousness in the spiritual world, which is the the, the, the third heaven or the, the, the fifth, the fourth dimension. OK, just like it's complete order, complete righteousness, like Yahweh Shai said when he was on the cross, he said it to the man on his right, I believe. He said, today you will be with me in paradise. That's the spiritual world, paradise. Just like it is in the spiritual world, it's going to be established on earth. All right? You know, it's, you won't be able, it's going to be hard to tell the difference between the spiritual world and earth and the kingdom. That, that's how beautiful the earth is going to be, you know? And the only, the only difference is going to be, you know, the earthly things like sleeping, you know, like like using the bathroom, like like having sex, because there will be sex in the kingdom of heaven. That's the only thing that's going to be able to differentiate heaven and earth, you know, doing earthly things. But it's going to be on a high level in the kingdom, man. All right, I want to get that word a moment. I'm going to get a few words, in fact. Strong's G, 3910. Parautica. 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 And it says, for a moment. <laughs> Simply put, it says, at, at the very instant, momentary. So, you know, matter of fact, let me just get the definition. Brief. Lasting for a very short time. And that's this world that we're living in. That's the predicament that we're in right now. It's going to last short time to us it seems like it, it, it's tearing you know like this is in Habakkuk the second chapter but really it's not tearing all right really it's going by extremely fast especially from the point of view of of, of the heavens you know of Yahweh Shem Yashana angels to them for, to their perspective this is going by extremely fast you know it's just because they were in this flesh that it seems like it's like dragging on but really it's not so it says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So anything that, that we wish that we could have had on this side, no matter what it is, in righteousness, that we couldn't get on this side, it's, it's like it just wasn't our time to get it. We're going to get that and more. The kingdom is going to far exceed anything on this side, man. Anything that we, that we could have had, anything that we wish we could have had. On this side that, that, you know, that the Lord, you know, didn't give us because it just wasn't time for it. It's going to far exceed that in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. Just like when you read the book of Job. After everything that Job went through, which when you think about it, what Job went through, that was a very brief moment. It doesn't give you the exact time. You know, if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't give you the, the exact time frame of how long everything that he went through. You know, went on, went on, but 
at the end, he, if everything that he lost was increased a hundred a hundredfold, if I'm not mistaken, or or I believe it said tenfold. But you know, in th- these times, that what Joe went through was literally the story of the elect. It's just it's just an exaggerated version of what the elect is going through, you know, because we're about to go through some shit. We're going through some 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 stuff right now, but it's gonna get even worse. But we, what we have to remember is, if we uh, you know, maintain our integrity in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and maintain our faith and trust in Him and all our ways and fear Him, you know, and endure to the end with that mind frame, with that with that 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 same mind, we're gonna be increased a thousand fold, a, a million fold, you know. We're gonna be increased so much it's gonna far exceed anything, man. You know, it's gonna far exceed the even the, the wicked elite of Esau, what they have, that, that's nothing. That's like that's like comparing McDonald's to like the, the top restaurant in the world, you know? The, the, the top, the fanciest, you know, five-star restaurant in the world. That's like comparing McDonald's in the hood to that. It's like, the, the, if it just far exceeds that, you know? But it says, uh, it's far more exceeding an eternal way to glory. I want to get that word exceeding. It says ice. It says into unto two towards for among. This is indicating the point reached or entered of a place in time. It says abundant. It's like you. Abundant against amongst, all right, continual far more. All right, so basically, man, it's just going to exceed in abundance, man, everything that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to give us. And he's going to give us a whole lot. All right, it says, uh, far more exceeding an eternal weight of glory, you know. That's that's heavy, man. That weight, <laughs> that's heavy. You know, just like we go through heaviness on this side, as far as sorrow, we're going to go through heaviness and joy. The joy that we're going to have in the kingdom of heaven is going to be heavy. It's going to be, there's going to be weight to that. You know, we get weighed down on this side, you know, on a, in a negative sense. In the kingdom, in a positive sense, we're going to be weighed down. It says that in Deuteronomy, uh, <laughs> let me get that real quick, man. Just like the, the curses weigh us down, the, the blessings are going to weigh us down in the kingdom. We're going to be weighed down by blessings. It's like, I don't know why. We're going to be weighed down by all the blessings that Yahweh Bashim is going to give us. Deuteronomy 28. And um, and uh, I start at the top. It says, and it, it shall come to pass if thou shalt har uh, hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh thy God. Which the hearken means to listen. It says to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy God, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So basically, if we listen to the Lord and do what he told us to do, you know, because we're not going to be able to keep all, you know, 600, 600 plus commandments on this side, but we, we can't keep the the, the law of faith, that's that's what the, that's the law that we can keep, the law of faith. Having faith in Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai, fearing him and trusting in him and doing what he said to do. You know, we can do that to the best of our ability. If we do that, he's going to set us on high above all these other nations, all these other races of people. The Lord's going to put us on top of them. All right. And that's how it should be. It says, this is the point, verse two. And all these blessings shall come on thee. And overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy God. So the Lord's going, you know, all these blessings from from verse three, you know, to verse, I believe, fourteen. Yeah, from three to fourteen, all those, those blessings. Would you could read? I'm not going to read it for the sake of time, but the Lord's going. Those blessings are going to overtake us, man. <laughs> okay. It reminds me of what the apostles said, you know, during the time of Jacob's trouble, because that's when it's going to start. That's when the power is going to 
start to manifest. All right, even before we get those new bodies, the power is going to begin to manifest during the time of Jacob's trouble because the Lord is going to lift up a standard. He's going to, you know, come through for us and protect us. But it reminds me of what the apostles say. Um, how, like, as far as concerning the women, you know, Isaiah 4 and 1, you know, we're going to have to beat these women off with a stick. <laughs> but that's how the blessings are going to overtake us. It's going to be so much. It's going to be like, God damn, like it's all... You know, it's all around me. Like, damn, I, I gotta, I gotta beat them off with a stick. You know, it reminds me of what the apostles said. But that's how it's gonna be, man. It, those blessings are gonna overtake us and, and weigh us down, just like these curses weigh weigh us down on this side. You know, this flesh weighs us down. So this is uh Isaiah sixty four, and uh sixty four and four. It says, for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen, O Yahweh, beside thee, what he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. So, you know, we can't even perceive in this, this with bodily eyes and with the, the imagination that we have in this, in this flesh, we can't even comprehend the blessings that the Lord is going to give us, how great it's going to be, because it's going far exceed, you know, anything that we could even comprehend, all right? We can't put it into words, man. It's pretty much what the what the scripture is saying, you know, since the beginning of the world, even going back to, to the Garden of Eden, which the word Eden comes from the Hebrew word Aidan, which means paradise. All right. It means paradise. Even back then, that's not even going to compare to what the Lord is going to give us. All right. Yahweh Shah said, behold, I make all things new. So he's going to renew us. He's going to renew the whole planet Earth. All right. And he's going to renew the whole power structure of the earth. He's going to put the righteous in order, beginning with himself. All right. King David and the rest of the 144,000 as the governing body. All right. Psalms 16 and 11. It says, Thou will show me the path of life, which is this truth, this wisdom and knowledge, the straight gate. It says, In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore all right like i said we, we that's something we really can't comprehend man forevermore that's that's literal we're gonna live forever all right we're gonna live we're not just gonna live a thousand years man we're literally there's not there's not gonna be any end of our days if you, so you can understand all right we're just gonna keep living and and in that whole time of us continuously living it's gonna be nothing but pleasure you know I be hearing people say a lot like it will be a curse to to live forever. Immortality will be a curse. You're out of your damn mind, man. Cause every moment of our existence in the kingdom is gonna be pleasure. All right. From the smells, from the, the food that we're gonna eat, from the air that we're gonna breathe. All right. Everything is gonna be pure joy and and you know pure euphoria in the kingdom of heaven. So I end off with this. Psalm 37, and uh, I really meant to put four. Psalm 37, and uh, matter of fact, I'll start at three. It says, trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So all our desires, like I said, that anything that, that we desired on this side that we just couldn't get, you know, because it's just not our time right now. We're going to get that far exceedingly in the kingdom of heaven. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying or comforting to the elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, giving all praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechah Double honors to the apostles, the elders of great millstone. Shalom to the elect.